Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. I want to talk about being very careful who you allow in your circle of people. Who you allow in your life is very important. And don't let just anyone touch your hair, shake your hand, because people's energy can be felt just by a touch on your shoulder, things like that. And it's very powerful. And if they have negative energy, it can rub off on you. If they have negative energy, if they have, um, even if they have positive energy, it works both ways. So make sure whoever you're around, they aren't toxic and you will know, you will feel it in your gut. Um, some people say that you have your, your intuition, another brain in your stomach. It sounds weird, but that's your intuition and your gut feeling telling you that there's something wrong or there's something good um, about a person, a place, a situation. So make sure, make sure you don't allow toxic people in your life. And if you're alone, practice being comfortable on your own, in your own space. If you don't have friends, if you don't have uh, family members, if you are constantly on your own and you know, you feel like you need to be with people all the time, guess what? You don't. You don't need to be around people all the time. But if you do, if you are someone that wants to socialize, make sure that you have quality people in your life because you are the top five people you hang around with. Remember that. And don't ever reconnect with toxic people just because you're alone. That's the biggest mistake people make in life. Learn to be by yourself. Learn to go out and do things by yourself. Learn to do things by yourself. Even today, for example, I had a lovely day today. I took a long walk. I went adventuring to different towns and cities and stuff. And I went to a lovely Thai restaurant. I will show you guys pictures. And I went by myself. If you can go cinema by yourself, if you can go um, museums, art galleries, um, restaurants by yourself, you're powerful. That means you don't give an F about people watching you when you're by yourself going around because society has made it where it's weird to go out by yourself it's weird to go on holiday by yourself but in actuality it saves you a whole load of stress and dealing with people in their situations and just come away from all that and spend time with yourself and I guarantee you, you won't regret it. You won't. And if you're a person that's more extroverted, try, try to be by yourself every now and then. You don't have to be around too many people. Too many people are draining and you don't want that for your life. You don't want to not have time for yourself. If you're always go, 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 go doing things, Make sure it's essential for your mental health and for your well-being in general to have that moment to yourself. It's very healthy. It's very, very healthy. And if you do socialize, make sure the people around you are quality. You can be happy on your own. You don't need people. 
you don't need people and also with relationships you need to heal make sure you guys heal before you enter any relationship or you um, want to be romantic with someone you know and meet up with them and things like that and get to know them make sure you are doing the self work working on yourself your personality improve improving who you are as a person make sure you're doing that because the worst thing is if you want to date someone or if you're if you're finally comfortable with your self or you're you're not properly healed and you're going into a relationship it's the worst thing you can do because you you would end up putting baggage onto a person who had nothing to do with the past and then what happens is you you would give that person you all your negative energy then they would have to heal from something that wasn't even theirs to begin with and you go on to the next person the next person doing that same cycle no change it heal first date or have friendships and, and, and you know healthy relationships after don't don't be um you know, take trying to take the easy way out and not heal, because that's the worst thing you can do, and it's not fair on the other person. So please don't do that. Don't do that. It's not good. It's not good. And if you have trust issues, make sure you're working on it. Make sure that you sometimes try to give people the benefit of the doubt. If they haven't give you if they haven't given you a reason to not trust them, then don't go all detective mode on them straight away. Get to know them without the judgmental mind first. And then you can decipher your personal opinion of them from what they've shown you. But don't straight away have this trust issue thing because that is where if you have trust issues that means you need to heal from whatever it is that hurts you you know um, there's a saying don't bleed on others when they're not the ones that cut you you know something like that it has a saying like that so yeah I mean it's all in the all in an explanation of that one quote I mean you don't want to be wounded and then you know putting it onto other people so make sure you heal you take your time with things one day at a time and make sure that you surround yourself with positive people but balance it with taking time out for yourself too so with that being said, I shall leave it there and um, I'll see you all in the next video. Check out my pictures and until next time, bye.